There's this new feature on the Elgato Wavelink software that allows you to send audio effects through your microphone. So for example, you can press buttons on your Stream Deck to make a sound that will actually be sent through through your microphone input. Why would you want this? Well, for example, if you're talking to somebody in Discord, they can actually hear your sound effects as well. Or maybe you're doing a Zoom call and you want them to hear sound effects. This is the way to do it. Open the Wavelink software, go to the cogwheel and check for updates. I'm up to date, so I'm good to go, but if you're not, make sure to update it. What we want to do here in the sound effects tab, we can click on this and click on route through microphone FX. Click. What this does is it makes a second microphone channel. We have the normal microphone wave XLR, but we also have one called microphone FX right now. So if you would go to Discord, and we go to user settings, voice and video. We have microphone in Wave XLR, and we have our output, which doesn't really matter right now. You don't have to be using the Wave like XLR. You can also be using the Wave 1 or 3. But what we need to do is we click on this. So instead of mic in, we're searching for Wavelink microphone FX. If I click on this, you can see that my microphone is still being picked up here. One thing to note that if you have voice activation on, like I have right here, your sound effects need to also hit this threshold before they're being heard on your stream. So you either make sure that this threshold is a little bit lower or you use push to talk and talk when you're playing a sound effect. Easiest way is to just do this and then it will always be heard. But keep in mind that you will also hear background noises then. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you're in a voice call, let me just jump into a voice call, you'll see this thing here, which is called noise suppression. If we click this on and we're gonna turn this on, it will try to suppress noises. Sometimes the music or audio effects you're trying to play will be seen as noise, so they will be filtered out. So make sure to keep this off if you wanna play sound effects. So this is how you can actually hear them in your Discord, but how do we actually play them? Let's open the Stream Deck software here, and I have got like a couple of sound effects here already. And as you see, the output is on default. The computer default is obviously your headset, so it will go to the headset. But we needed to go to the sound effects panel, so this panel. Because this panel, like we said before, routes through the microphone effects. So if we have anything that comes in here, we can route it to our microphone via that separate channel. Okay, so how do we do this? We click on an existing sound effect, or we just drag a new one in. Soundboard, play audio. Here we go, this is how you drag a new one in. You can select the sound here by searching in your files. But I'm just gonna delete this one because I already have some here. So I'm clicking on the sound effect and instead of default output, we're gonna search for the sound effects channel. Here it is, Wavelink sound effects, I've got a Wave XLR. You could say I've got a Wave because you just have the Wave mic. But for me, I've got the I've got a Wave XLR, so it says I've got a Wave XLR. So I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna do the same for all the other sound effects I have. Keep in mind that if you have a multi-action with sound effects in it, like this one, you also need to do it right here. So for me, if I click on this button, it will share my Switch friend code, but also has this click sound from the Switch. Same goes for Steam here. I'm just gonna make the sound effects as well. So don't forget the ones that are in a multi-action and not just the ones that you have right here on the front buttons already. What will happen now if we click one of these buttons, for example, this. You will see it will come into our sound effect panel. Because it's coming in our sound effect panel, it should also route through here. You can see that even though I'm not talking, this bar is going up. As you see, a part of the sound is in this orange, so we have to turn it down for the sound to work. Now everything is in the green and everybody will hear it in your Discord server. I've got a bunch more tutorials on how to set up your stream deck, like how to switch scenes with your stream deck. So let's jump into this playlist where I tell you how to set up your Argado stream deck.